Hello everyone, myself Uday Datrak. I am planning to teach 100 plus web application security issues in just 20 hours. You don't need to have any basic skills. Training you end to end is my responsibility. I have already uploaded 45 lessons in my YouTube channel. Search in YouTube for Uday Datrak and subscribe guys. I will upload daily one or two videos. You will be getting daily alerts. This is my playlist. You must start watching from lesson 0 otherwise you may understand all the lessons but you will not create you. With this course you can easily get a job on cyber security and penetration testing guys. Now we will talk about another issue. Default configuration files. Uh, this is a very big concept guys. First of all you need to know what type of frameworks used by the applications and what type of softwares are installed on the server for example in our application we need to fingerprint or we need to identify the errors for example we know that this is the datrak application right we'll try to give some random input and it disclosed the apache server version and php version now we know that the php is installed on the server that means there will be php default configuration files second one we know that but i am not writing in full we know that we have installed they have installed apache server so there could be apache http server default configuration files and what all the other softwares installed on the server to identify this you need to check in page view source to know like you know what all the softwares for example if the wordpress is installed it will be written here as wordpress and version or else on the home page you can see somewhere as bottom like powered by wordpress or vbuilt in all those things so based on the number of softwares installed there are higher chances of identifying the default configuration files so let's see now uh, we know that through this er some error through some error we know that the application is running vamp like windows apache mysql php let's say if the application if it, the vamp is installed on the server then what could be the files like uh, the default st folder structure will be within the vamp folder there will be www folder and within that we have installed this all these web applications right apart from these web applications by default if you could see these five files which are very common like whoever installs vamp in their machine so they can come across all these five files all the time guys so let's check whether this particular even if you have installed vamp on your machine you can directly check if you want to access this file how you can access within the vamp www folder it is a direct file now this is the default file because they are by default this all these files are exist and they can be accessible externally because all these files are present in www folder itself we are not going to check cgi bin and all because they cannot be accessible right they can only be accessible within the www folder whatever is inside in this folder can be accessible externally so let's try to see all these files now whenever you see vamp is installed for any of the software any of the web application you could see like this yes now with this information it is also showing up the like mariadb database version also information disclosure so attacker could identify what type of database and version installed just by requesting this particular file for it like you no know, vamp web application and let's see another file what it disclose okay yes and uh, index.php is a common file add vhost.php I am going to show you three four files that's it can you see some information that it is showing the critical information like path disclosure using this 
uh, it will lead to severe security issues which we gonna discuss later guys that's the reason why you need to focus on all the sensitive information displayed in the http response when you request the default configuration files that means now i have identified that the the web applic the vamp is installed in the c drive so if you want to talk more about this issue if you search in google for uday datrak sorry youtube for uday datrak you can see one video one of my video like like uday datrak how your computer can be one hour video like uh, if you see this one hour video you will understand using this information disclosure vulnerability using this path disclosure just with this information i was able to read the all the username and passwords from the database just by knowing the c vamp 64 folder and moreover everyone knows that the default info installation folder for vamp 64 is c drive itself so if you want to know how you need to watch this one hour video guys uh, now we are only focusing on the default configuration files so now what all we identified using default configuration files the attacker can know the software versions installation folder drives and using which the hacker can also see read the database username and password which i disclosed now there are thousands of softwares in the market to make the application up and running like vamp software lamp software like wordpress we built in there are many frameworks are there like lotus notes many many frameworks so if you want to know the default configuration files for all those if you start making it will take like four to five years guys already there are lots of security researchers made the default configuration files you can check for a 1 million list against the particular website now i'm gonna show you how search in google for checklist you're gonna see a github repository it's not mine guys it was some person made it so now i'll go to discovery in that web content if you see these folders all the folders and all the files if you see guys like uh, these are the huge list of like it discloses all the file paths if you could see yes now what i'm gonna do is since we have installed php uh, you what you can do is you have to download all these files guys and then put uh, all these files paths in one particular folder now i'll show you only for two different paths one is for database okay this path okay now let me see as raw itself okay and then i'll copy control a control c i'll put it in one particular file and then php file paths now raw okay now i'm adding to this old path now we have around 5000 file paths guys 5488 as you can see here let's say i have checked all i have taken out all this file list dot txt now assume that i have taken all these file paths like you know 100 plus software and i have consolidated them using using dos commands also you can consolidate them with it's an easy job guys now uh, i'll use the burp feature yes i'll take one request like uh, of this particular web now i close this application now this is the let's assume this is the main website now yeah i'll right click i'll send it to the intruder yes now positions it is selecting the session id guys as you can see session id is highlighted i'll just click clear everything is cleared now i'm going to take this path like slash 
before going further i'll see the file list okay yeah now after slash i'm going to add something like you know a, any string is fine as you can see there is a no slash to this particular file list right so every file doesn't have the slash so i'm trying to select this sss not slash and then click add what we're gonna do is when whenever the request comes up like i'm going to show you now click payloads let it be the simple list select load select desktop guys file list now as you can see this all file list is loaded there are some slashes are there guys uh, we need to make sure that this slash should be uh, yeah as per first let me run we need to do some formatting because it should have slash for all the files or else it should not contain the slash starts with so that's okay for few i don't want to waste time removing now or else i can show you how we can easily take out this where is that file list okay there are some files are there we can write a small script to remove the slash from the first character if it is having some slash notepad control h slash I'm gonna remove slashes okay now we have neatly formatted so that the, there is no slash when it starts with the file name yes now go to the bob suit we clear the file list and we'll try to load once again file list now it looks neat guys now if you click on start attack now what it will do is it will check for each file on the server if it is there it will show the http response 200 ok as you can see now 400 not found can you see this particular file it is requesting all these files but as you can see dot 7z it is showing as percentile 2e that means proper formatting is not there they have, there is some issue with the formatting now for that i need to remove this url encode and check this yeah and then click start and we'll confirm whether it's the request is going yeah slash yeah it's requesting the particular file but there is no can no that file did not exist on the server now as you can see we are we automated to check for all these file paths on the server and this is the status code guys 404 means file not found you need to check for 200 ok to see that since this bulb suit is a demo version uh, this is checking for the file path slowly and in the next session i will give you my favorite python scripts which checks for high speed you don't even need the full version of the bulb suit software i don't want to make the things very complex guys i just want to make sure that you comfortably understand that how a hacker can understand a hacker can check for 1 million file paths on the server within just few hours using automated tools so now if the since the application is weak it discloses all the 200 codes we are not going to wait for long here guys so he simply goes goes out for a coffee and he comes back after four to five hours and he checks for like 200 okay status here whichever is there that means that file is there on the server now, now this is how you hackers will use guys but i'll give you my python scripts later sessions you just understand these basic concepts guys because once you understand all these hundred minimum issues you can easily use these combinations and understand how a hacker can easily hack a server in 100 plus ways using these small level combinations first our job is consider you are a beginner within 20 hours you are understanding all the 100 security issues then 
everything will be a big bang later we're gonna hack using each like you know combination of vulnerabilities thank you guys